Hi, I'm Dr. Mundi and I welcome you to this regular show. Today we are going to talk about my favorite topics, which is food, love and great tits. You know, I have special guests here. One is Clara, you know, she, she is a puppet. And another one uh, is uh, her friend, uh, is uh, Mr. President. So, you know, after many years, after Clara find out in the scientific experiment that uh, love and food is all connected, the scientists also find out. That's very interesting. You know, the smartest people on the planet, they found out and they put like really scientific like reference to it, you know, like they put some experiment that was in the book and then they make reference to another book and then they found out it's really like the scientific way of, of showing the results. You know, my friend, if I do something, I do want to do it well, you know, so that's why usually, you know, I want to bring the original content. But people still ask me, you know, doctor, where do you take your reference from? Where, 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 which book is this based on? My friend, do you know what does it mean, original? Original, it means that in the past, there was no record about it. There is no reference that exists to the past event. It never happened before. You know, that means that it's original. So, you know, and then people still don't believe me, you know, it's true. So I have to come out with something, you know, with some great reference. So I usually use references. I also use books, you know, but it's probably different kind of books. Like I have here a great book. Like, for example, yeah, this book. Can you, can you see the bird? Yeah, so the bird is real. Why? Because it's in the book, my friend. So if you ever want to check anything, check it. But check it in the right book, my friend. I cannot give the, all the list of the references I'm using. I'm even using the references that are not from the past, that have no, no past reference in the world. I take them, my friend. My re best references are from the future. Like this book, you know, like it's a children's book. It has many interesting pages, but look, it's all information from the future, you know? So if you want that my information is based on references, I can make sure, but then means that you also read the same books. So my friend, Clara found out many years ago, and she found out about a great tit. You know, there was a great tit coming to her, and she was not scared at all, you know? Instead, she offered the cacao to a great tit and the great tit stayed in her company for a long while and Clara on this experiment she found out even the great tit is not drinking from her cacao the great tit was getting warm and from a feeling of being loved and the great tit nourished and the great tit survived the winter so my friend many years ago the scientists, of course, for, from the uh, scientific point of view, they repeated the experiment. Maybe they've seen the picture of Clara somewhere, you know, on the internet. And they proved out as well. You know, they took again the pair of great tits. And then, you know, they put a small device on, a, on the leg of one of the tits. And that device opened a space with a foot. But it was in one location. And they took another tit. You know, they put a device on the feet of, of another tit and they put another device there which opened the space with a foot in another location. And you know what they found out, the scientists? That the great tits like to stay together. You know, even if it means that one of them is going to be hungry. My friend, think about it for a while. What does it mean? It means that love is as nutritious as food right so there are many people who are coming to me to me as a doctor and they say okay look doctor we have issues with weight with power with strength with body mass with this and that and I tell them are you eating correctly and they say, yeah, we eat all the healthy food, all the vegan, raw food, this and that. My friend, if you're eating all the healthy food, it doesn't mean that you are eating properly. Because 
this experiment shows that our body is able to receive the nutrition from the relationships and that really our body needs that feeling of being part of the community to be with the below to ones the one that you appreciate the company the with your family be with your best friends be with your neighbors be with whoever you want to be but that triggers a special hormonal process in your body that will boost your metabolism so you can take really the nutrition out from the food my friend this is completely revolutionary so for all of you that were eating alone to this point i suggest that for the next meal you invite a friend that you go eat together and that for the dinner you also have the company so this way you will stay very well nourished and you will feel energy not only from the food but also from the company from the love and together it will create perfect balance for your health my friend that's why i invite uh, friends for today's dinner and uh, it's my beloved clara and uh, it's coming also important person uh, uh, mr president so uh, clara she knows she's a puppet and uh, mr president i maybe you know i make some good connections there you know so we're always having dinner together you know enjoy your evening eat well and eat in a company better one